Hi everybody, welcome back and I hope you're having a great uh, holiday weekend. The weather's been very accommodating today. Satellite and radar shows some mainly sunny skies outside. Nice to see the sun out. If it's not going to rain, we might as well lose the low clouds, right? Unfortunately, they're going to come back a bit here overnight and uh, tomorrow as the winds increase once again. Right now under 20 miles an hour, they'll be dropping through the 80s this evening and uh, then on into the upper 70s around midnight, but the mid 70s by daybreak. And that's because instead of the winds being up around 15 to 20 miles an hour, they're going to be around 10 to 12 miles an hour at daybreak. So less wind overnight and tomorrow morning will lead to forecast lows down to 76 degrees. That's the lowest we've been in almost two weeks. So big uh, change there, 79 at the Naval Air Station, 78 in Port Aransas. And instead of windy, it'll just be breezy overnight with the low 70s as you go out to Alice and Robstown. The day planner for tomorrow, again, mostly cloudy in the morning and 75 degrees, 89 though at noon and 90 at 5 p.m. So we are going to see a hot afternoon and the winds picking up here tomorrow afternoon too. With 91 in Corpus Christi, it'll be 88 in Rockport, 92 in Kingsville, and 93 in Alice. So here is the big picture. We've got high pressure to the east, very hot across the southeastern U.S. That's blocking any storm activity along the Sierra Madre from coming into us. Lots of cloudiness in the western third of the Lone Star State with this area low pressure. This new area low pressure is going to drop into position tomorrow and that's why the winds are going to pick up. Stationary front up to the north, very chilly air, only in the 40s along the uh, northern tier of the United States bordering on Canada there uh, for the current conditions. As far as the uh, big picture with the water vapor imagery, you see how dry we are here in brown. That means no opportunity for rainfall. Today marks the 15th straight day without any rainfall uh, here in the coastal bend of significance. There, uh, we did have a hundredth of an inch yesterday in a brief shower, but that doesn't really count when you're talking about significant rain of at least a quarter of an inch or so. Southwesterly uh, flow aloft battling out between that low and this high. In the, right in the middle is where the storminess continues from Texas all the way into Oklahoma and Kansas. As Greg showed you earlier, some severe weather uh, hitting much of the country last night and again today, just devastating. There's International Falls at 46 degrees right now. It has warmed up out here in the Rockies, and that's why we've seen less wind because there's less of a temperature contrast. That means less of a pressure gradient, and that means better conditions. So here are the upper level winds and the uh, temperatures. Hot weather with high pressure, that stays with us. There's the upper level low kicking out. That happens around Thursday and Friday, and our winds come way down. And although there's still low pressure up here in the Rockies, it's weak on Friday and our winds will be relatively weak too as high pressure takes hold out here in the northern Gulf. But any tropical activity would be stirred way to our south because that high is uh, still not too far north yet. The wind forecast again tomorrow back to windy, real windy here Tuesday and Wednesday, but then a big drop off here to just breezy similar to today on Thursday. Here's your NEC Co-op Energy seven day forecast. 76 tonight, 92 tomorrow, 79 and 92 on Tuesday. And then we'll be down to 91 Wednesday, 92 on Thursday. And again, we'll pick up a couple isolated to stray showers Friday and Saturday, but not a big deal. And high temperatures will be in the low 90s with lows in the upper 70s. So a good looking forecast there once we lose the wind, which will be back with us tomorrow.